This is going to look prettier, isn't it, in these individual dishes rather than that big sort of drop from a height. Yeah. When you've got this lovely rich custard, I said, a bread and butter pudding. Yes, I do too. You'll push all the butter out of it. It'll go. If she needs to have it, let it relax a bit. But look at the quantity of... You see, you've got to get enough density of sugar. When you're making a sorbet or an ice cream, it has to be over 14 degrees of sugar content. The idea is, with any tartata, you know the bulbous fruit when you cut it but in yes. half? So, in other words, they're being made upside down. Eddie looks as if he's in shock. <laughs> he's never been this close to a final, has he? <laughs> and he's on a naked flame, Eddie. He's going... Oh, he's going for, going going for, for broke. broke. Take your eye off that boy and you'll have... Keep that old spoon moving. They come out, they'll be flat as a pancake. It's nice... No, I convex. know what you mean, the, the upturned convex. sauce over the top of the thing, but that's just... A dodgy moment. He was being very, very daring, in his nature, of course, with his custard this time. I think he he's was... it off to you. Yes, well, he was doing it on the flame and stirring it fairly gently, and it could have gone into scrambled eggs at any time. And we were peering into that pan, really gunning for him to get it right, and I think he has. Crumble looks lovely, a nice thick wodge of crumble on the top, the fruit looks good, more sugar in, I think it's going to be a there big There is improvement. a downside, Julie. What? The Naughty boy. It's on the edge of being... <laughs>